so far we've talked about lines in space having a bearing and a plunge and the way we've described them is to say that the line plunges a certain amount in a particular direction or bearing. I'm going to show you a different way to describe a line in space and it's with reference to a plane. For example, we could have a plane here that has a strike of 090 or you could say 270 and dips 60 degrees to the south. Now if we've got some marks on that plane, for example like this, they could be scratch marks for a fault, we can actually measure the orientation of those lines with respect to the strike of the plane and we can do this very easily with a protractor and I do do this in the field. So you get your protractor out and you can measure this angle here and in this case it's 45 degrees and this is a measurement of the rake or you could say pitch, the words are equivalent of the line in the plane and we always give a reference to the strike direction we measured it from so we would say raking 45 degrees from the east so as not to confuse it from the other side now how would we plot that up on the stereo net we have to plot the plane so I'm going to plot the plane 090 60 south so happily here's 090, turn the AB line to it, which is where we set strike. And I'm trying to find the great circle that dips 60 degrees south. So come in from the south along the XY line, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. There's the great circle. That represents that plane in space. Now if you think about it, the great circle is simply a protractor. So starting from the 090 side, count along the great circle 45 degrees. So here's 090, come in 10, 20, 30, 40, 45 degrees is there. Now I've plotted the position of the line in the plane. Now have a look at this, it's completely different. This is the rake, 45 degrees. It's completely different to the bearing and plunge. To find the bearing and plunge of the line, you need a straight line to go through it. And I'm putting here the XY line through it, going from the center out to the edge. That is the bearing of the line. And this is the plunge, 10, 20, 30, 36 degrees is the plunge. And for intrasight, the bearing I can find by just setting my tracing paper overlay back to um, the original position. So I've lined up my geographic coordinates with A, B and X, Y. And I can count around, oh no, I know I was here, 100, 110, 116. So the bearing and plunge is 36 towards 116. That's the orientation of the line. But I could also say that the line is in the plane 09060 south and has a rake 45 from the east.